I was so disappointed that we weren't able to continue the, the little rental project that we had. But they say that one door opens, <laughs> one door closes, and another one opens. And, and to be honest, I don't know if this is the next door, um, but it's, it takes a long time to, to wander around, to get to know the people, to find where their building is being done, to understand what's happening and, and, and what's available. And, and it's networking, it is so, it's, it's really hard to find the good bargains and to find the good opportunities um, by just sort of looking off Facebook or Marketplace or something. And this is, I found a little spot here. Now we're in Jimbaran um, and it's, it's almost tucked in, almost right behind the immigration department in Jimbaran. And there's, a, there's a, little, uh, a little development they're putting in here of about 20 units and they've only got the first two done. And I've had a bit of a look through and Look, for what I'm looking for, I'm looking for something where people that are coming over to Bali can spend two or three or six months living here in, in simple but, but comfortable environments so that they can, they can use that time. They know how much it's going to cost them. They're not chasing, spending nights in hotels and whatever they're catering for themselves and looking after themselves. Um, and, and I found these nice little units that someone's building. And, and it's on a nice little sort of rural outlook here. It's not far from the water. Um, not swimming water though, but the, the inner harbour. And you can see they're in the middle of doing another another development or two there. Now this place comes with its own swimming pool. It um, they're gonna be they're gonna be building more, so <laughs> there, there will be a little bit of construction noise I dare say from time to time. But that's gonna be over the next god knows how many years as they as they build or sell one they'll they'll start building another. So you can see they're sort of getting ready. Now I gotta say the the neighbourhood is quite quite pretty and, and quite quiet. Uh, there's a couple of empty properties around and there is a really nice sort of village sort of neighborhood but it's also got a fair bit of western uh, influence as well so i've seen there's quite enough uh, quite a number of, of uh, western visitors or guests i'm going to take for a quick look through these units one of them uh, is semi-complete and the other one we've just been through is uh, is uh, pretty much ready to go um but uh, yeah have a look so tell me what you think so they're nice little units some nice trees out the front you got parking here for your motorbike so you can run it up here and you walk in straight up you got a nice decent sized small pool um, and and out it opens up you've got an open air kitchen and a little dining room here it's actually quite a big size dining room there is no door so uh, my first thoughts would be mozzies maybe at night time or um or It'd be nice and breezy, but I'd probably prefer to close it, put air conditioning, but that could be done. You've got a huge bedroom and this giant big cement bulkhead of a, of a bed base. Air conditioning there, it's nicely dressed off in, in the ceiling and the panels. You've got a privacy screen there as well. You've got your pool and you've got some nice block out blinds there. And you've got a big roomy bathroom. Again, you've got a view out onto the pool. Um, and that's actually, that's not a window, that's just bars. So that's keeping it nice and breezy, which also means that your air conditioner, once it's in your bedroom, once those doors are shut, is gonna work quite nicely without costing too much because you don't have a lot of heat loss. You've got a Western toilet, flushable, and I've also noticed you've got a hot water service. So it's pretty, it's nice. I, I question whether or not this is a, um, like a weekender or a, like a week stay or, or a three monther. I'm sort of looking for, for somewhere to recommend that people can come and, and, and hold up for a few months while they're, while they're getting their bearings and working their way around Bali, working out where they want to stay, where they want to settle down if, if there's business opportunities, investment, or if they're actually looking for a unit like this for themselves that they can actually own. So, look, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you how the, how the sums work out. To buy something, or to buy something outright is, is pretty difficult. Um, and I've talked before about this, this leaseholder, this um, uh, land long-term leasing arrangement. If you wanted to lease this property, you could lease it for 20 years, and it's, it's, you're looking at about 50,000 Australian dollars, um, which is pretty cheap. Um, so, but, if you 
want to, if you want to come over here and, and rent something for three months, you're certainly not going to get it at that sort of price because they, they need to know, they actually, uh, to, to lease it, you need all that money up front over a long period of time. So, look, one of the things that we might be looking at doing is, is finding partners, finding people that would like to have a bit of a pro bit of property over here that they own or that they that they they are, uh, have a share in, and seeing if uh, if it's something that as a long term investment you can actually make some nice little money on this, um, as long as you can keep it busy, as long as you can keep it f full, and there's there's different ways of doing that too. You've got your Airbnbs and your Booking.coms and stuff like that. So there's quite a number of ways that you could get bums on seats to stay here um, and you shouldn't have a hard time getting 50 bucks a night for a, for a little villa with its own pool so you add that up at over 12 months if you had a reasonable occupancy rate um, you, you'd actually have a nice little investment look I'm, I'm going to give you a few ideas I'm going to show you what sort of costs there are okay I'm, I'll, I'll be honest here the downside to me on this place here is is I think um, for a weekend rental or for a one week rental, it's perfect. It's not too far away. It's no any of the nightclubs and the doof doof and the crazy stuff. Um, there are some beautiful restaurants and, and, and beautiful areas. We're sort of on the edge of Noosa Dua and, and uh, Benoa and also uh, Jimboran. So you're sort of in a nice, beautiful area. It's a lot of nice restaurants and, and a few activities, some good surfing beaches and some, some uh, wet, wet water action, wet and wild action. Not far from here at all. And you're not right next to the big freeway that sort of gets you around to the airport quickly, gets you back over the Sanua. So, it's, look, it's easily accessible. However, the one thing it doesn't have, it doesn't have a lounge chair. And it doesn't really have room. You've got a spot over there for the TV. But if you put the TV on the wall, now I'll admit it, I'm a little bit of a stay in bed, watch TV sort of guy. And, and if you're sitting in bed, the only place to put a telly would be up there on the corner, pushing off to the side, um, because you're looking out to the to the pool area. Um, so you don't really have a place just to kick back, relax. You got a nice little chair and table to have, have breakfast, or have have a few drinks. I've got a small little fridge. Well, that'll be going really quickly. I'll put a decent sized fridge in there. But you've got the room to do that. You've got a little gas burner there, and and I'll be honest, you might come over here with the intention of cooking all your dinners. But when the Warung down the corner selling your fried rice or, or chop chai for, um, mixed veggies for $1.50, $2, you're not going to end up spending much time wasting doing the dishes or even cooking food. And the other thing about cooking here, it's so hot that you don't want to be cooking inside. And that's one of the reasons the kitchens and the outdoors are normally sort of interconnected with outdoors because you don't want that steam and that heavy and it's just too gluggy and it's too hot in the afternoon. So there's no, there's no room here for a barbecue. There's no room for a, a sun chair, really, because you sort of walk in the front and you're know, almost straight into the house. And there's nowhere for a lounge, but, but it's a nice little spot f for a couple of people. You can have a couple of friends come over, sit down, have a beer, have a swim, um, and, and you've got a nice comfortable bed. But it just depends what hours <laughs> feet and she's hiding behind me. It depends what you want to do. It depends what your, your purpose is over here. A lot of the people that I'm talking to are coming over here to retire. Now, I tell you what, there is room to, well, you could, it's, you could set up a nice little study desk there if you wanted to work from home and that was your mission. With a few little alterations or a bit of, a bit of shuffling, you could probably set up your office in here because you wouldn't want your office out there unless you unless you seal that door off and put an air conditioner in so if you wanted to work from home uh, and you wanted to do a lot of internet stuff unless you want to sit on a bed and do it or get one of those little steady tables or something you um yeah you just don't have that extra little bit of room but you'd probably rent this out um for about oh i'm thinking about 10 grand a year you'll get for something like this Compared to what my mate Al's got, he's got a, a similar small apartment and it's got a pool, it's a shared pool, but it's much nicer grounds and a little bit closer to, uh, to the amenities. Um, and and he's, um, he's got a nice little spot there. Um, yeah, I'll keep looking. Uh, this probably isn't the, 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 right, uh, the right investment for me, but if you're interested and you wanna know more about where these properties are, get in touch with me. Um, because I might be able to help you out. I might be able to connect you up to the people that are here. 
Um, oh, and I might have a couple of friends. I've got a few mates that have turned around and said, listen, I don't, I don't think I've got the money up front for the whole thing, but I wouldn't mind going halves with someone else. So there are ways of doing it. It's all got to be done legally, and it's all got to have all the right, the, the, the legal stuff all stamped and crossed on that, because I noticed actually there was a couple that in their 60s got deported last week or this week for, uh, for running a, um, a, a, a vacation rental place over here without the right authorisation. Now, I guarantee nothing that we do is going to be incomplete. Everything we do is going to have all the authorisation, all the right, the, the right um, licences and and uh, and whatnot to do, and the taxes and then that are going to have to be paid. But honestly, they're not high. It's not a lot of money. Um, but I thought I'll let you know this is what's about, about, and we're going to go off and have a look at another one now. So I'll probably bring you along with that. See how you go. Cheers.